Today I got something uh, a little different for you, but it's really um, good advice. I know this isn't a Metro 2033 uh, Part 4 like you're probably expecting, but I'll be putting that up soon. Um, this is just a um, quick tip. Um, if you have an old uh, motherboard or any other, um, like even an, uh, uh, like a VCR uh, boards or any other like computer or electronic boards, and they don't work, keep them like this. This board, it's an old MSI board, Pentium 3 Willamite. It um didn't it doesn't work. Obviously, the um I got it and the uh I got it from an old computer I took apart and the chipset didn't work, so it wouldn't boot up. But move over here. I have this motherboard which is in this computer right now running Memtest 86. Um. This one, ha this one had two blown capacitors, so I thought over here, like, hey, I have this old motherboard, why don't I cannibalize the components from it? So when you have an old um, board like this, and, if you, and you have a soldering iron, it's a really good idea to go in, if the warranty is voided on it, of course, um, and take out, I've still got a lot more to do, take out all these little... Um, Capacitors, more capacitors here, more capacitors here, the chokes, um, some of the plugs if you want them, um, battery thing that could be used for something useful, this uh, buzzer that could be useful, also all these little MOSFETs in here. Um, didn't get that one out. But, so what I did. I did that, and I'm not even done yet, and I got, <laughs> all these capacitors, like, that's at least about mm, 5, 10, maybe even 20 dollars worth of capacitors, and they're all, like, we got some big ones in here, like, that's a, um, 4,700 microfarad at, uh, 6.3 volts. You'd make something nice with that. Um, but because the capacitors are the first thing to blow on an electronic um, board, like that's the first thing that you're going to want to check if, like you say, you have like an old TV or even a computer that um, it's a hardware issue, um, is the capacitors because they can only withstand uh, so many times of being charged and then recharged before they blow. And when they blow, they get, um, wait, there's one. Here's one on this. This also had a blown capacitor where it's all, like, domed up. Let's try and zoom out on that so it doesn't get all blurry. Oh, no. Zoom in? No. Focus on this camera doesn't really work that well. Um, but it shoots all this, like, nasty looking gup all over the place. So. Place that with another capacitor that's good, and all these capacitors are nice and good. So that's what I did: is I um I took the two blown capacitors out of there and put two not blown one capacitors in in there with the soldering iron, and it worked perfectly. But that's just a uh, quick tip on um, some electronics advice, and thank you for watching.